the Tube Screamer versus the OCD. Real quick guys, if you want to win some free gear, wait till the end of the video and I'll tell you how. Two of the most popular overdrive distortion pedals in history. Let's start with the TS-808. It came out in the late 70s and was an instant success. Obviously popular with guys like Stevie Ray Vaughan, Kirk Hammett of Metallica, and many, many more. One of the great things about this pedal is you can use it on a clean amp and it will start to overdrive your clean sound on that edge of breakup right into where it starts to get nasty. Thus, called a tube screamer. Another great way to use this pedal is like Kirk Hammett of Metallica, where you have an already pushed amp, like a Marshall, and you push it even further, and it gives you this great saturated sound that's just gonna cut through the mix. Known for its soft clipping, it boosts the midsection and kind of tightens the low end. And so what that does is in a live setting, it makes you cut through the mix really well. Some people love it and some people hate it. It was one of my first overdrive pedals. I had a Gibson Les Paul going into a TS-808 into a 5150, and I was playing heavy rock and metal, and it was just probably one of the best tones I've ever had. Funny thing about it is my bass player hated that pedal. I let one of my friends borrow it, and unfortunately, he passed away. I would much rather have my friend back instead of my pedal back. So I recently replaced it, and I can automatically hear the sound of so many of my favorite records. What about you? Are you a lover or a hater or... Maybe you really don't care about the Ibanez TS-808 or TS-9 or TS-10. There's been lots of different versions, starting with Maxon, and pretty much every pedal manufacturer makes one version of the Tube Screamer. Now let's talk about the OCD. I remember first hearing this pedal, one of my teachers at the Musicians Institute, back when I was attending, was playing on stage, and he was playing some really nice blues stuff out of his Les Paul, and I immediately went up to him afterwards like, how are you getting that tone? He's like, I just have this one little pedal right here that's OCD. And so from that day, I knew that I needed one. 
I bought one of the first versions and unfortunately that got stolen from me. Somebody broke into my car and stole my whole pedal board. Luckily I didn't have a guitar in there, but it was a very good lesson for me to learn to not keep your gear. One of my good friends heard about this incident and he gave me his OCD. He didn't like it very much and he preferred to get his distortion straight from the amp. Shout out to him. His name is Tanner Poppet. He plays in a thrash metal band called Madrost. I'll leave a link if you like that type of music. Go check him out. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but the OCD is actually a hard clipping distortion pedal. It doesn't sound like it because it doesn't have that abrasive sound that we most associate hard clipping with, like a DS1. Like the Tube Screamer, there's been many, many variations of the OCD. If I had to choose one, if I was going to be stranded on an island and I could only take one with me, which one would it be? Well, I'd have to say the OCD because it's a little bit more versatile. I love the Tube Screamer, but it will always sound like a Tube Screamer. There's lots of companies that also mod Tube Screamers. I would love to try one of these out, but it would have to be an additional Tube Screamer because I still want my factory one as well as maybe a mod on top of that. But with so many pedals to get, that's not priority on my list right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on two classic overdrive and distortion pedals. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And regularly, I like to give away new gear to you guys. So the current giveaway will be coming up on the screen now. Go watch that video for your chance to win a piece of gear. Who doesn't like free stuff? Take care. Play your hearts out. I'll see you soon.